It's a love story that's seen its ups and downs, and together these musicians have lifted each other up as both of them dropped significant weight. That's right, we talked with Smo the other week, but now we're sitting down with his beautiful wife, Sarah Beth Lewis, better known as SB the Queen. I love, I love that name. Yeah, well, <laughs> Smo gave it to me. So. SB the Queen. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. he's the king of the country, so he needed <laughs> a great. good queen. That's great, you gotta be so. the queen. SB the Queen, I'm stuck. Oh. I've been called SB over the years, just being Sarah Beth. Yeah. You know, right, right. Being a good southern double name. And so SB got shortened by my friends and even some of my former students. And so SB the Queen just was born. <laughs> Love it. As it should be. Now, Thank last you. time you were here, you weren't on the show. We were mm. talking to your husband, Smo. Yeah. And we learned that you both released a love song dedicated to yes. one another. So yes. let's talk about your love story, the two of you. Yes, absolutely. So we met back in 2015. Um, he was at Bar Louie having dinner, and I was getting ready to go sing karaoke. So we had stopped by <laughs> Bar Louie on the way. And we saw each other and ended up meeting and I was just so excited, but the timing wasn't necessarily right for us to get to be together at that moment. So we were friends. We did a lot of stuff professionally with music, and then eventually over time I got to go on tour with him, and then we got married, and so now we're making music together, and we've had um, several releases together, and this is my release that's talking about our relationship and how we met the yes. night that we met. Aww. And it's so, so powerful. And just for some context out there, Smo is the country rapper that you all know from Shelbyville. He was yes. also on that um, A&E show. Um, but we do need to listen to Ball and Chain. Without further ado, let's take a listen. Okay, tell us the story about Ball and Chain and the night um, you met. Yeah, so I, first of all, I love country music. I love songwriting, I love storytelling. And so, you know, the night we met, it was just one of those things that you think about Jolene and we never got to hear her perspective. And so this is kind of like what the perspective is like to meet the love of your life, but it not be the best timing maybe to be with mm -hmm. them and what that struggle was like for me. Cause it was a tough time. The song's fun and rocking, but it was a hard time for me, you know, to feel like I had such great chemistry and such great compatibility, but just wasn't in the best position at the time. So that's yeah. where that song came from. But you stayed patient. We just love love yeah. around we here. Love love. Um, speaking Super of, you guys, fun. you both went on this incredible weight loss journey. Yes. We have these wild before and after photos yes. of you, SB. Um, <laughs> and That's when Smell asked me to be his girlfriend with Aww. the cake. <laughs> and then I had lost weight by the time he proposed to me. Look yeah. at that. That's from the music wow. video. Wow. Um, what changes did you make together? Um, so initially it started with just an awareness of like portion control. Uh, we love to eat and that was how we show love, you know, and we would love to go out to our favorite places and eat. And so over time, you know, we figured out that we weren't happy and we had struggled as children too. Mm -hmm. And that's something that's a struggle that we share and in, in a relationship, it really helps if you've understood where that person comes from. And so I just told him I was, he had already lost a hundred pounds from his heart surgery. Yeah. I had gained weight and mm -hmm. was like the biggest I had ever been. And I just told him, I'm really unhappy. We have to make some changes. And he was incredibly supportive. It started with portion control, just an awareness. I quit drinking when I met Smo. He had already quit drinking from his heart surgery. And you know, in Nashville, that's kind of hard to do. And yeah. so um, I went on my journey to not drink alcohol. And then eventually we changed to a plant-based lifestyle. And so we've been living plant-based since 2020. And now we don't eat gluten and now we don't eat oil. So uh, just little changes over time have really had really, really big payoff. So wow. I've lost 100 pounds wow. and I feel the best I've ever felt. So um, it's a great feeling to know that 
together we can share a story that we've lost over 300 pounds and um, it's it's really fun to now have a life that we've never had with anybody else we have a unique bond to be these healthy people together and you know be like brand new people in our own relationships so it's really cool I love that <laughs> and speaking of plant-based we talked about it last mm -hmm. time but just remind everybody you guys are creating and Smo is yes. you know really uh, started this 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 food truck plant-based yes. so Smolicious Mobile Eatery Smolicious. is our whole food plant-based gluten-free oil-free food trailer that we have um, and it's going to offer soup, salads, smoothies and specialty sweets. So I'm in charge of the overnight oats. If you follow Smo on socials, we love the overnight oats. Uh, so that'll be something that is my passion, you know, sharing Aww. a good healthy breakfast or something on the go. Mm -hmm. And then everything else I assist him with pretty much everything. I'm his oh. brand manager, so yeah, cool. I, I'm with him all the time. So we get to work together all the time. I tell you what, that menu looks delicious. I saw oh, it about man. 20 minutes ago. They worked on it earlier today. You're going to want to run down there. They're yes. opening it on Earth Day. Earth Day. Yeah. For everyone else out there who may be on their weight loss journey or yes. new to their weight loss journey, what is your best piece of advice? Uh, my best piece of advice is progress over perfection. Mm -hmm. We get so bent out of shape of like, oh, you know, I'm not going to eat gluten today and then if you mess up then it's like well the whole day is shot I'm gonna eat yeah. all 12 donuts you know <laughs> so I think just having grace with yourself and that really your body will respond to that because the more you love yourself and the more you talk to yourself kindly and treat yourself with some grace, you'll definitely have some results. I'm, I'm like that. Progress yeah. over perfection. Progress no over perfection. Tin. Give yes. me all the donuts. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> well, we, have, we have mud tire donuts at this malicious food trailer. All right. Trailer. Okay. <laughs> delicious. Thank you, Thank SB. Thank you so much. Listen to the full song online. Check out beacons.ai-slash-I-am-SB-the-queen.